last year. So if he can eliminate the big plays to the other team, throw his guys the football, the turnovers. He has five interceptions already. Last year, he had eight within the whole season. So he's got to stop giving the ball away, keep making those plays, and he'll be all right. All right, we're going to head back to Tampa now, where I'm told that Kurt Warner can hear us now, and you will be able to hear him tonight on Westwood One Radio. He's calling this Bucks steelers matchup. Kurt, I feel like you have uh, would be a good weatherman slash meteorologist. <laughs> would you care to give us an update on what the weather is like right now? Well, I'll just tell you what, the, the weather's clearing out a little bit. No lightning, thunderstorms are moving out. As of right now, there is no delay in the game, so things should start uh, as normal. I like it. You could have worked in a cold front with like some sort of demonstration like this on a green, whatever. We'll work on it later. Uh, let's uh, talk football. Ryan Fitzpatrick and these Tampa Bay Buccaneers have been on fire so far. Is this a good matchup for that particular quarterback continu to continue that play? I think it is. When you look at the Pittsburgh Steelers defense, they've got holes all over the place. They like to blitz you by bringing zone blitzes, which leaves holes in the defense and people have been picking them apart up to this point in the season so I like the matchup the question again comes back to the weather the one thing we know about the Bucks is they've struggled to run the football been great in the past game can they throw the ball around even in the wet conditions that we have tonight uh, your former Cardinals switched quarterbacks it appears Steve Wilkes says that he is going to go with Josh Rosen he entered the game late yesterday uh, you know kind of rough at times what do you think about the decision to turn to the rookie. Well, it's one of those things that once you go to him, it's hard to go back to the veteran. And you know what we've seen is the offense hasn't been clicking. Uh, not going to blame it all on Sam Bradford, but we all know that the quarterback position uh, gets highlighted, especially when you've got a young guy waiting in the wings. And so they need a spark. They need to do something different offensively. So you go to the young guy. I'm not sure it's going to solve all the issues because there's a lot of issues with that team right now. All right, thank you very much, Kurt. Again, calling the game uh, for Westwood One Radio. It is the Steelers and Bucks coming up in just a bit in Tampa Bay. All right, so that happened. What are you supposed to do now? That is the question in San Francisco. That is the question for Niners head coach Kyle Shanahan, and his answer is coming up on another hour of NFL Total Access.